الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى سيس في كتابه الكريم الرحمن على عرس استوى the most merciful rose above his throne Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above his throne many of the sects <coughs> like the Mu'tazila, the Jahmiya Asha'ira those who spring from them Maturidiya and others who claim to be from Ahl Sunnah who are not from Ahl Sunnah let's make that clear because they don't hold the Aqidah the creed of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah they dispute with Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah and slander, meaning that they lie, meaning that they go beyond bounds, meaning that they tell untruths about Ahl Sunnah and call Ahl Sunnah Mujassama. When Ahl Sunnah is the farthest people from associating a created form or body to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's make that clear. Let's just get it right off the, our chest and get it right out in the open. Because this is an open lie and we've just denied it. And the reason is, Ahlul Sunnah just takes a very simple and humble motive. I'm not going to get into a lot of detail and a lot of depth and a lot of uh, philosophical debates and arguments about this issue. It's been done by the ulama of Ahlul Sunnah. They've defeated Ahl al-Bid'ah was Andhaka on countless occasions throughout history from the time from before Imam Ahmed up until now. Ahl al-Sunnah, the, the debates are there and some of them are translated. Walilah al-Hamd. But Ahl al-Sunnah, they believe as Allah said. That's the difference between us and them. They have to make it, they have to change it and make ta'wil to fit their intellect. We say la. We say it's above our intellect. We don't know. We can't estimate. We can't ask how. But we know for sure that Ar-Rahman ala Ars is stowa. And we don't need to change the meaning. We don't need to change the haruf. The letters. We don't need to change it and say it means istawla. La. Ahl sunnah makes taslim with nusus. They are comforted by the text of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is the Quran which is the speech of Allah if Allah said in seven places in the Quran that he thumma astawala arsh that he rose above his throne then we accept that we don't go beyond that we don't tajawaz al-had and say la it means this la 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 we need to change this La, 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 my intellect doesn't fit this. La, that means that it's like this. La, Ahl sunnah does not ask, Bila kaif. And let me illustrate this point by the beautiful ather of Imam Malik. Rahimahullah ta'ala. Rahmatullah, rahmatin wasi'a. Alay. Wa jamiya salaf. Imam Malik said, while he was teaching in the Haram. So this is a paraphrase. He was teaching in the Haram. And someone said, Ya Abu Abdullah, O Abu Abdullah, O father of Abdullah. How does cave is stoa? How does Allah rise? This is what they asked Imam Malik. And he, he began to sweat profusely. And Imam Malik said, these words that Ahl Sunnah has used as a qaida to defeat Ahl Bid'ah wa Zambaka for centuries. He said, Al Istawa Ma'loom. Wa Kaif Majhool. Wa Sual Anhu Bid'ah. Wa Anta Mubtidi'ah. O Kama Qal. Imam Malik said, that it's known the meaning of istawa it's known in the Arabic means that it, one of the meanings is irtifa to raise 
That's known. Al istawa ma'loom. It's known. And it's known in the Quran. Allah said it. Allah said it, so we go by the Arabic language. Al istawa ma'loom. Wa kayfiya, wa kayfiya, majhul. And knowing, and knowing how is majhul. That's unknown to us. That's unknown to Ahl Sunnah. Ahl Sunnah doesn't claim to know anything that Allah has not given us knowledge about. Al Kayfi and Majhul, we don't know how. We don't ask how. We don't describe and we don't make a Timthiyah. We don't make. So listen to this Ahl, Ahl Bid'ah, how they claim about Ahl Sunnah. We take this Qaeda Imam Malik said, Al Kayfi and Majhul, we don't know how. So we don't make like the Mujassima and say, oh, his body is like this, his body is like the elephant, his body is like an ant, his body is like la. But we say that Allah has those divine names and attributes as Allah mentions. As Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned in, in, in Sahih a hadith. If Allah says that he rose, we say he rose above his throne in a manner that suits his majesty because we don't know how and we don't ask how and we don't claim to know how, but we know he does it. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And likewise, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Yanzilu Rabbuna tubaraka wa ta'ala kulu thulu thalayl al akhir fi yukul. So we say, Yanzilu Rabbuna tubaraka wa ta'ala kulu thulu thalayl al akhir fi yukul. We say the same. We say that because the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said it. Which means, your Lord descends. From the lowest heaven every last third of the night. Guess what? Ahl Sunnah doesn't ask Kafiya. Ahl Sunnah doesn't say how. Ahl Sunnah doesn't say, but in China it's this time. In Seattle, Washington, it's this time. Here I'm here in Rastanur in Saudi Arabia, it's this time. In Hafuf, it's this time. Oh, in the UK, it's this time. In Birmingham, it's this time. In Croydon, it's this time. We don't say that. Ahl Sunnah doesn't say that. In Somalia, it's this time. In uh, Ogaden, it's this time. In Ethiopia and Addis Ababa, it's this la. Allah Sunnah, we don't we don't enter into any of that. But rather we say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these are his divine attributes and names. These are characteristics that he subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses because the Prophet Ali Salatusam didn't expound upon it. And he said that and we believe it. That's what that's the simple but bil ikhtisar. Ittaqara Ahl Sunnah. Bil ikhtisar. This is a summary of the, the belief of Ahl Sunnah. It's a very simple, humble belief. Because it's a belief built upon Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa fahim salaf salih. That is simple. It, we don't have to go into, we don't make a temthil. Now listen to Ahl Kitab. Kitabun. Listen to the people who lie about Ahl Sunnah and make takfir of Ahl Sunnah. How many people make takfir of me? I've heard how many. People and I don't have to rep to to fight them and say oh and make take fear of them just because they make take fear of me. La, I say they've made a mistake and I say that they're responsible to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for their lies and their false understanding. Perhaps because of their ignorance, perhaps because of their desires, whatever the case may be, that they've fallen into that error of take fear. And they fall into that error of distorting and lying about the divine names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they fall into the itiqad of maturidiyah. And they fall in the itiqad of, of, of Ahl Ahbash, which are from the same, they drink from the same cup. They drink from the same cup. It's just a Turk Tur Sufiya, some of the Sufi uh, sects and paths and Aqidah and Minhaj. So what I say, brothers and sisters in Islam, is just be simple in your aqidah and creed and take the path that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made for you, has designed for you. And this is the path of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And this is the path which comes from Kitabillah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it's not an innovated path. And it's not a path that needs to distort the names of Allah. It's not a path that needs to, to change the meanings of the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not a path that needs to uh, change the actual letters in the Arabic language to fit their desires. It's not a path that needs to fit our intellect. That's what's most importantly. And this is the farq. This is the difference between Ahl Sunnah and some of the sects of Ahl Bid'ah, like the Mu'tazila, like the Jahmiyyah, like the Maturidiyah, like the Asha'ira, and many of other uh, groups of Ahl Kalam. 
what's the difference between us and them, at least in this point, is that they need their intellect. They use their intellect, which is limited and which differs per, per, between person to person and differs to decipher who Allah is and to look at the text and make it meaningful in a way that they feel it should be understood. Allah Sunnah says la, no. We take the literal meaning in accordance with the Arabic language and in accordance with what we have from Dalil, from evidence. So that is a, a difference between us and them. Because we believe in the ghaib and that's part of our Iman. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Alif Lam Mim, Thalik Al Kitab Allah Rayba Fi Hudin Lil Muttaqeen, Aladina Yuk Minun Bil Ghaib. He said, when describing the Mu'mineen, after Alif Lam Mim, this is a book wherein there's no doubt. Aladina Alif Lam Mim, Thalik Al Kitab Allah Rayba Fi Hudin Lil Muttaqeen, and it's a guidance for the Muttaqeen, it's a guidance for those people who are humble. May Allah bless us to be humble, may Allah bless us to be guided. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Those who believe in the ghaib. So Ahl Sunnah, we believe in the ghaib. Because many things would not fit our intellect. No one knows what Jannah is. No one has seen Jannah and Nar from us that are walking the earth now. We've never seen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we believe in Him. Because that's a part of ghaib. I've never seen the Malaika. I've never seen... That I, uh, for sure, I've seen some people possessed by jinn, but I haven't really seen a lot of the, the those otherworldly things. I haven't seen it. I've never seen Al Barzakh, but I believe in it. Al Ladina Yu'minun Bil Ghayb. They believe in the Ghayb. So, that Ghayb, of course, is not always going to make sense with our intellect. Our intellect is limited because we can't see. That's a part of Iman, is believing in the Ghayb, believing in that which you have not seen. So, we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And how he describes himself in the Quran without changing the meaning, without ta'wil, without takiv, ta ta without describing how, without ta'til, without um, uh, distorting or, or, or negating those divine attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Have a itiqada ahl sunnah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with tawfiq, bless us with ikhlas, with the bat, with sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide me and guide you and forgive me and forgive you and bless the Muslims everywhere and guide the Muslims everywhere and feed the Muslims everywhere and make the war cease for the Muslims everywhere. And the Muslims have peace and stability and their homes and their families and all of that which is good. And may Allah bring peace and stability upon the earth and allow for the believers to lead the people to righteousness and good. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم